I've been asked a couple of times, how do I get involved with the FreeBSD project? How can I contribute? Let's look at the multiple ways that you can do that today. There are a massive amount of ways that you can contribute to FreeBSD from submitting patches and, and PR reports and, and, and pointing out issues to offering support on the mailing list or on the forums. What way you choose really depends on what suits you. Me, for instance, I maintain a couple of FreeBSD ports, very simple ports, if I'm honest with you, but they were what I needed at the time. So I, one of them I created from scratch. The other two I just took maintainership of and kept them up to date. I'm not gonna dive into those ports and I'm not gonna sit here and show you how to create a port or anything like that. Maybe that'll be a topic for another video, but today we're just gonna go through the ways that you can contribute and, and give something back to this operating system that we all love so much. So let's have a look at the uh, contributing page for FreeBSD. It's on their website. So FreeBSD's website has a, a contributing to FreeBSD page and it is quite extensive on, on their needs and, and what they they feel is, is needed to keep the project moving forward. And you'll find that there's also a, a contributing to the FreeBSD Foundation page on, in fact, let's have a quick check of that because it's probably very similar or points you back to the FreeBSD project page. Yeah, it's, it's very similar, I can tell you that just by looking at it. Yeah. So let's go through the varying methods. Non-programmer tasks. There you go, it lists what, what would help you. So re read through the FAQ in the handbook periodically. If anything is poorly explained, ambiguous, out of date or incorrect, let us know. Even better, send us a fix. ASCII doc is not difficult to learn. I've never bothered to learn it myself, but there is no objection to plain text submissions. So basically, send us your corrections and we'll get them imported if they're correct. This is a big one, this next one. Translations. FreeBSD documentation into your native language. And I know that there are some languages that they really struggle with with, um, with translations. So take a look at the translations FAQ. And if you're in a position to help out with a, a language that is not native to the FreeBSD project, get involved. Number three, read the FreeBSD general questions mailing list. This is what I was alluding to earlier. It can be very satisfying and I'll, I'll be honest, there have been times when I've offered support to people on the, the mailing list or I've been in a, in a need for that support. Very friendly and very knowledgeable bunch of people over there. Get on there, on the mailing list or on the forum, and help out if you can or if you need help. Again, it's a great place to go for that. Ongoing programmer tasks. There's quite a few there. And again, this really suits the people that are, are, are good with coding. If you are good with coding, then you can get in there and help out. FreeBSD Current is a great way to, to get involved with, with updating the, the source code itself. Read through the, uh, the problem reports on the mailing list and, or in the, the, the PR database, um, which is um, Bugzilla. Get on Bugzilla and have a look. There may be a problem you can constructively work on and create patches and get them submitted to the FreeBSD project. You never know. Like I say, there, there's a lot there to, to work on in the, in the source code. If, you, if you're good with coding, by all means, help out there. So the FreeBSD PR database, the problem reports. As I said, it's Bugzilla. Have a look, see if there's something there that you can, you can help with. And that isn't just the source code. It, it can be the ports, documentation, you know, anything that you've got knowledge on and you can help with, and if you can help fix a pat, uh, fix a problem, that's a great way of contributing. As I mentioned earlier, ongoing ports tasks. Now, as I said, my, my personal way of helping is maintaining, um, at the moment, three ports that were useful to me, and there was one of them wasn't even there. Two of them had no maintainer, so I requested the maintainership, got them up to date, fixed any problems, got them back into the tree. So find some cool or useful software and create a port for it. Now, I'm gonna go for a video creating a port at some point. Once I find one that I wanna create, DaVinci Resolve, anyone? Anyone wanna help with that? And that, that's what, I, what I've done. Again, you know, you, you choose the, the thing that works for you. If, if maintaining software is easier than creating code for some of you out there, why not try it? Creating a port is actually very simple. The way I did it is I just took a port that looked like the one that I wanted to create that had similar workings and kind of copied it and, and just 
adapted it to the use for my port. It was actually quite simple. The tools that are available to create and maintain ports are fantastic. Here we go. Pick out one of the items from the ideas page. Now, I'm not going to go through them all, but there's a lot for a big bone of contention for a lot of FreeBSD users is Wi-Fi. There is a Wi-Fi page. If you can help with that, get in and help. We'll all, we'll all be very, very happy if people help with that. So there we go. There's, there's loads. Hammer 2. Yeah, that's... Um, Dragonfly, yeah, Dragonfly. HFS, yeah, why not use Mac, Mac OS file systems in FreeBSD? Kernel flow, kernel control flow. There, there's quite a lot here. Suspend to disk, virtualization, networking, porting. Yeah, port FreeBSD to new platforms. That's That'll be a good one to get involved with if you have that skill set. Not something I could do. <laughs> User land and installation tools. There was one here that I saw, the PXE installer. That would be fantastic. That would be really good to have. Loads of stuff that can be done on this page. Improved cron. Currently, cron and hatch run are outdated in their implementation. And this is another good thing about FreeBSD. They are well aware of their limitations. If there's an issue, this is a great place to find it. They will absolutely list their shortcomings. And that's great for transparency. Crash dumps. Syslog D from net. BSD, global projects, document all sysctls. That would be a big job. So lots of stuff there. So there we go. There, There's really the, the, the stuff that will allow you to contribute to FreeBSD. Again, lots of stuff here as well. Changes to documentation, changes to existing source code. There you go. It tells you how to create your, your diff file to submit that in a PR. New code, major value added packages. And of course, the big ones, money or hardware. They are always, always going to accept money and hardware. You know, being FreeBSD project, being a non-profit organization, they're absolutely going to be very grateful for, for any kind of gift, any kind of donation, money, monetary or hardware. And then it lists the ways that you can do that. I'll, I'll leave all these links in the description below, but it's you can find them quite easily. They're always on the, on the, the FreeBSD website or on the FreeBSD Foundation website. And then coming to contribute into ports. This is the way that I do things, uh, adopting unmaintained ports. That's what I did. I had a need for the software. It was out of date. So I picked them up and luckily I was accepted to, to do that. And I'm still the maintainer of three ports. It used to be something like six or seven, but I dropped a couple because I didn't use them anymore. And I had no interest in keeping them going. And it, it just seemed silly to update and maintain stuff that I didn't personally use when somebody else could have taken that over and, and done a better job, potentially. And this is all the responsibilities. Because it is a responsibility, maintaining ports. It's not just, I'll fix it for what I want to use it for and then leave it. Although you could potentially do that, fix it, and then drop maintainership. Not sure there'll be too many people happy. I'm, not, I'm sure they would be, actually. If, if it gets something fixed, I'm sure they'll be fine with that. And then, of course, you've got the, the, the Porter's Handbook, which is, again, a massive resource and well worth going through if, if that's the direction that you want to take. But as I say, knowing when to call it quits, that's a, a big thing. You know, people's interests do change. Nobody's going to force you to look after something that you, you don't look after anymore. It's, it's just... That's where sloppy code comes in. If, you, if you're not interested in it, you're, it's going to be a bit of a conceited job to do that. So there you go. Porter's Handbook, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Port System. <laughs> I like that. Report data, The Problem Report Database, again, Bugzilla. And getting started in other ideas, in other areas. Junior Jobs. What's Junior Jobs? Let's have a look at that. Kernel Work. Submit Patches. And of course, if, um, if you get on with this and you, and you really are interested and... Creating problem reports and, and patching ports and, and code in the in the source code. It's a great way to end up being a source committer or a ports committer or a docs committer if you want to commit bit if you're if you're that dedicated. It will be, like I say, a massive responsibility to to have that. But if that's the way you want to go, there's no reason why you shouldn't, you know. Gotta start somewhere. And again, the same thing on the FreeBSD Foundations page. Donate now. <laughs> So there you go. There is a plethora of ways that you can get involved in FreeBSD and contribute and and help out other users. That's always a great way, a very rewarding way of, of contributing. It's one of the reasons why I like doing these videos. It's 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 not just about doing simple content for views, believe me, because nothing is simple on YouTube these days. But, you know, 
if I can help somebody pick up a, a, a new operating system that they've never used before and they get used to using it and then they say to their mates and their friends and their, their co-workers, I've been using this, what do you think? It might just, you know, build up the user database, the user base. We all do our part. There's great resources in the community. You've got Robo Nugi on, on uh, YouTube as well. There's um, a Vermadden's uh, blog, great resources. So I hope that you, you find this uh, useful. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember the, the latest user who asked this question on how to contribute to FreeBSD, but um, I hope you do find it useful and, and I hope you do get yourself involved in the project somehow. Um, if you do and you find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow and it tells YouTube people are watching my videos, which, by the way, thank you so much. We're, we're approaching 3,000 subscribers. It, it just blows my mind. Thank you. Thank you so much. As always, you know, if, if you do like it and you've clicked the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and, and click the bell icon to get notifications. It lets you know when I when I release a new video. Discord server link in the description as well is still going. It's starting to, to get a few more people uh, chatting in there now, which is great. I, I pop up every now and then as well. Um, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Turns out I sound absolutely horrific reading from a script. So I just have to keep the script in my head. <laughs>